It's DB motherfucking general, aka Sons, aka No Boy Danny, man. Shout out to the Rap Shack. We live East Oakland, California, man. It's the gas god. It's the motherfucking king, man. You understand me, though? Y'all tune in. You understand? Let's get it rocking. Yo, brah. Right now, I'm uh, working on the king, but I just dropped some shit. Young OG3, you feel me? I want y'all to tap into the Young OG3 and to the gas god, too. Them the two I just dropped in, but. A lot of shit going on around a nigga name, you feel me though? So, usually I be keeping quiet, but I, we gotta keep it 100. We gotta, you know what I'm We gotta tell the real, it's three sides to a story, you know what I'm saying? They side, everybody else side, and the truth, you feel me though? So, I've been keeping quiet for a long time, you feel me though? Because I be letting people just keep it business and some shit business and some shit personal. But this time live tonight, y'all on the Rap Shack 2018, DV gonna give y'all the truth, you feel me? The real truth, nothing but the truth, so help me, God. The crown, Heavy Lies the Crown, that's my first single. Off the King album, that crown when you feel me, that's like it's getting a lot of views right now. We we getting a lot of love, we getting a lot of good comments from that because it's that energy you feel me, it's that turned up energy that they want from DV, and I know that's what they want from DV. They ain't right when we be turned, you feel me though? Cause that's naturally how I am, bro. That's naturally how East Oakland niggas is though, bro. My mama though, bro. Cause y'all, I know y'all call the real call a hype, but when y'all run a real Oakland town, nigga, but it's how niggas act, bro. Real energy, but it's how we act, it's how we talk, but it's how real Oakland nigga act. You run a real Oakland nigga, bro. My mama though, you feel me? So they just that energy that we got inside us, you feel me? So that crown track, if y'all ain't heard it, y'all gotta go. Tap in is on a thriller. I just dropped it like three days ago. That shit going crazy. That shit doing the numbers. It's that turned up DB. The turned up energy. That's why everybody keeps saying it's the old DB because it's so turned up. You know what I'm saying? It's so the energy is so there. You feel me? So y'all gotta go lock into that on everything. That's the one to crown the first single off the King out. I already did it uh, first, like probably like seven years ago. I did the King out. The first one, you feel me though? I know rappers feel some type of way about that. You feel me though? But at that time, don't can nobody tell me for sure I wasn't the king of Oakland. I was the hottest nigga in Oakland right when I did that CD. You feel me? Don't own everything I love. Though. The king of Oakland. I had the crown on my head. Niggas is mad, bruh. Everything, I guess. That's the one. You feel me on everything. But I'm doing it again, though. I'm doing it again because I'm watching a lot of rappers and I'm watching from the back on the social media. It's a lot of rappers copying and they taking my shit. They ain't giving me my credit, bro. You feel me? So at the end of the day, I'm like, nigga really is the king. You feel me? Though rappers be copying, they be taking from me. They don't say nothing. But I'm watching. You feel me? Like y'all taking and y'all stealing from me. Y'all just ain't saying nothing. But they copying and they taking. I see it. They <laughs> tracing. You feel me? You know how artists draw some shit, raw shit. They tracing my shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm the original. You feel me? Original is always better than the copy. You know what I'm saying? So y'all need to tap into the original because everybody taking my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Detroit is SOB. I've been here in the Detroit though before SOB. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I've been here in Detroit. I've been here in SOB. You feel me? Everybody been telling me for a long time. Like them niggas sound dead on you. Right, you feel me though? So I do want to say to the bay, I do want to say to everybody, you feel me? I do hear the influence, I hear the turn up, I hear the energy. Cause some people say, nah, they can't hear it, but you feel me though? Yeah. I, I could do it, you feel me though? I just know, I know what y'all talking about when you just, the bounce off with the album with the chop and the 30 when they rap like that. That's yeah. that's DB, bro. Y'all don't know what it is. I just did it for y'all when a nigga <laughs> rap like that. That's DB, you feel me? I, I bust, I bust. You feel me? Like when a nigga rap like that, you know what I'm saying? I spurp and I'm busting, you know what I'm saying? Like that's how free and RP, just, that's how I was rapping, you feel me? That energy, like this for my niggas, this for my dogs, bro. You feel me? I influenced that. Bro, you feel me? Just that type of energy, like, nigga, this what it is. And I hear it in all the young niggas' flow. You feel me? I hear it in all the young niggas' rap. Yeah. You feel me? Though I salute some, but just you, you could pay homage. You feel me? You can give me my credit. You feel me? You can give me a thumbs up, a emoji. Right? Yeah. Give me a, a smiley emoji or something. Like, DB, we see you, because I do hear it. You feel me? In the brat. You know what I'm saying? The brat. You feel me? I hear that, though. Everything and everybody shit. So I just want the little credit and a little homage, though. You understand me, though? But salute to all the young niggas that's doing that. You feel me? I, I hear y'all. I see y'all. And I see you. Shit, you feel me though? Y'all gotta just understand, you feel me? It's just an energy, it's a type of energy. And everybody who really know me, they know like he got that type of energy. And everybody who made me know like I'm a ball of energy, bro. I'm, I'm naturally like this. And I'm trying to tell everybody the real East Oakland niggas naturally like this, you feel me though? So that's just what it is. That's how I came out rapping on the songs, you feel me? Yeah. Man, that's so bossy, bro, because rap. It was all fun and games. It was all the jokes for the song was out. When it was all on me, when the fire was old and shit, it was all jokes and shit. It was all fun and shit, bro. But when me and Lab came with that Mac Blast, bro, niggas got hurt, bro. You feel me? Because I know it's the difference between a diss song and a rap beat song and really like exposing the person. You feel me, though? So I understand. You feel me, though? Brett felt like I spoke on his kids, so he felt like he can't 
forgive me or get over that, you know what I'm saying? But it was a song, no, you feel me though? So I do I will never understand. You know what I'm saying? Can't nobody never make me understand that, you feel me though? Especially when you started the beat, when you made the song, how you gonna say you can't get over what the response was, you know what I'm saying? You can't do that, you know what I'm saying? It's like getting into a fight, starting to fight with somebody and then something happening. You can't, bruh. You can't do that, bruh. That don't make no sense, bruh. You feel me? That don't make no sense, bro. Being a football player and then go out on the field and get your ass hit and be like, why they hit me? It's a football game, bruh. What is you talking about, bruh? You can't do no shit like that, bruh. Or being a boxing game. It's like being in a boxing match and getting knocked out and really go outside and get the gun like I'm about to smoke this right. nigga, bruh. You forgot it was a boxing match, right, bruh. You got right, your right. ass knocked out, bruh. Right, you ain't making no sense, bruh. You lost. You took an L, bruh. You feel me, though? I wasn't playing, bruh. You feel me, though? I mean, it was fun in games at first when I was looking in, but when they made the video, bruh, I'm like, nah, bruh. They taking it too far, though. You feel me, though? And for everybody that don't know, I was already, you know what I'm saying, rocking with my bruh, Kurt the Diggler, the whole time. You know what I'm saying? I was already talking to my bruh, you know what I'm saying? So it really wasn't real, you feel me? So I don't know what they thought, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it really wasn't real the whole time. Time, yeah. So to hear him say, I'm tripping for life. For you to say you tripping for life over what? You feel me? Over what, bro? Rap beef, bro? You ain't making no sense, bro. Especially when I know people got real beef with people in the streets, though, bro. Right. Everybody who say they got beef with me, bro, I never did nothing to nobody. But they really got beef for niggas really in the street, but they read about me. That don't make no sense. So everybody in the world, for sure, they should understand that, bro. Like, you got to take care of the people you really got beef with. You talking about DB, what he said in the song? You sound like a fucking clown, bro. That makes no sense, bro. What about the people that did something to you in real life? Yeah. You feel me? Like, no. All my enemies. What about the people that did something to y'all in real life? You worried about me? That don't make no sense, bro. Right. That makes no sense, bro. I'm glad you asked that question, bruh, cause Dane Fame, that's bruh, though. hold on, though, bruh. That's bruh, shout out Dane Fame Management, man, that's my big bruh, shout out Dane Fame Management. Dane Fame is one of the original, original FOD, Funk or Die Seminary OGs. He's the originator of FOD, you feel me, though? So I don't understand how you could kind of disrespect that. But you saying you from that, you feel me, though, and that's not kind of like 100, you feel me, though, but... Dame Fame and Big Stone, them my big brothers, you feel me though, them real seminary, real OG, real original FOD, you feel me though, I don't know what's the allegations of what he's saying about Dame Fame, but everything I ever learned from Dame Fame was 100, you feel me, he was there for me, he was there for Keith, he was there for everybody, but he was there for the town, but he like one of the first real managers, though, in the street nigga, though, you feel me, that turned businessman, you feel me though, so you gotta salute your head off to somebody like that, and then did time, bro, and then did all this street shit that everybody, we ain't gonna talk about, but Dame Fame is real certified, bro, in the streets, so he Open, bruh, uh, in my car, in my life, you feel me? So, shout out Dane Fame Management, bruh. You feel me? I ain't with that, you feel me? Because that's big, bruh. You feel me? And big, bruh, helped all us, you feel me? And he ain't no rapper, so how you gonna make a rap beef about somebody that don't really rap beef? So, it's like, that's some other shit. He ain't even a rapper, bruh. Like, he is a real street nigga, bruh. So, you gotta watch out how you moving when you doing shit like that, bruh. He ain't gonna rap back, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not a rapper, bruh. Right. Dane Fame is 100, bruh, for real. That's a real FOD, you feel me, though? I don't know what they got going on over there, but in my book, Dane Fame, that's big. Breath, you feel me? That's always gonna be big breath to me. I'm saying he got my number. He know what's up. I told him when I do the interview, I'ma shout him out. You feel me? Like man, that's always gonna be my breath. Dane Fang said, "Get them pussy niggas to pay." Right. <laughs> Cause that's big breath forever, bro. Oh, everything. That's my big breath forever, bro. Real seminary FOD. Laugh, laugh. Got the hit right now. The what else? You feel me? Yeah. So he got the what else going. Everybody going crazy off the what else. I want to shout out Lab because he got the hit right now. He got the what else? You feel me? And everybody be on my live telling me like, bruh, tap in with Lab. And I know people be on his live telling him like, bruh, tap in with DB. So I went to tell him through this interview. You feel me? Like, bruh, you could tap in. It's good, bruh. You feel me? Like, I ain't, ain't nothing like that. You feel me? Don't everything. Cause when he was down, you feel me? We did have some little words through a DM. You feel me? You feel me? But it wasn't nothing serious like that, you feel me? And it wasn't like no bad shit. So I don't want people to think that it's bad blood over there, you feel me? It ain't no bad blood or nothing like that, bruh. I fuck with South Sac all the all the way, Iraq all the way to the fullest, bruh. All the way. D Bola, that's my brother. Millie, that's my brother. Tholin and my brothers, bruh. For all three of them is my brothers from Sacramento. Everybody always asks me, bruh. Yes, them three niggas is my brother. I rocked it with them on a personal level. I didn't rock with them niggas the car, smoking, ride, all the shit. D Bola, Millie, and Tholin. You feel me though? Lab was down. So I didn't really get a time to really lock in with Lab like that because he was in jail you can me so when he got out then it's on but he got that banger right now the what else so he got that banger the what else go crazy so shout out to laugh that what else banging bro everything i had to do that you feel me because i wanted to shout out 5177 9 11 because they're them niggas that i really fuck with when i'm in sack them the real niggas that i fuck with you feel me and then i had an altercation in Vegas, you feel me though? I had an altercation in Vegas where I had got into it with a nigga, you feel me? He kinda like fan played me. And that's one thing when you're a rapper, you don't ever know if a nigga a fan or enemy. So the nigga was like, you DB, 
you're a fan, you feel me? So I was like, yeah, what's up, bro? Then he turned up on me, you feel me? Like on some, I'm like, feel me? But I turned back up on him, like, nigga, what's up? You feel me? I didn't run or nothing, because I seen niggas come in like, bro, if I was a sucker, I bitch, I would have ran, bro. I was right there, I stood on my ground, that nigga didn't want no smoke. They didn't want no smoke. It was probably like five or six of them niggas. I don't remember how many it was, but anyway, the nigga was like, wait, trying to bang on me, whatever, saying where you from and shit. And I was like, nigga, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, bro. Like, I'm from East Oakland, bro. If you want to go, what's, what's up, bro? Whatever. But he it ain't what he was talking about. So I had to say 5177911 just to let niggas know that, you feel me, that is who I'm with, you feel me? It ain't going to change. I know some people don't like it, you feel me? And I want to tell people that it's really bigger than a song. It didn't even come from me making a song with Lab, you feel me? It really came from me living in Sacramento and really rocking with them saying these niggas, you feel me, though? So I want people to know that I, it, it, that's how it was, you feel me, like on the real life shit, though, yeah. you feel me, though? So. That's what it is, you feel me? Shout out to all my South Sac Iraq niggas, man. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Brother Diggler, you feel me? That's that money and murder. Y'all gotta get that money and murder. I want y'all to tap into that game time. I want y'all to tap into that infiltrate. You feel me, though? That's my bread, A9. You feel me? And Kurt, that is my bread. You feel me? He always been my bread on a personal level. You know what I'm saying? Always been bigger than music. You feel me, though? I've been always locked in with bread. You feel me, though? We had our little differences on that little boosty ass song and shit, but that always been my bread. Like on some real, like, love type shit, like family members and shit. Like his daughter is my cousin. You feel me? Like I'm locked yeah. into him, family. Like, hell, like, Hell, our family members is close, you feel me, in the same, you know what I'm saying? So, I've been, bruh, that's been, bruh, you feel me, it's gonna be, bruh, so that's what it is. So, I had to lock back in just to show people. I wanted to show the fans, I wanted to show the world, like, I hope y'all ain't thinking this real, because I know he walking around making it seem like this real, bruh, and that's fake. It's not real, it never was real, bruh, you feel me, though? But I guess because Kafani got shot, you feel me, that's why everybody took it real. And I seen his little shit, he said, too, it was not real, it was never worth filthy. That whole situation was over Raven Justice taking filthy off a song, bruh, and hella people don't know that, bruh. You feel me? You was in your feelings the whole time, bro, because somebody took you off a song. And look what all that shit turned into, bro. That shit turned into hella shit, bro, because somebody took you off a song, bro. Well, you feel hold me? On, hold on, hold on. Can you give me? Can yeah, filthy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> filthy got filthy got took off a of Raven Justice song, bro. Yeah. You feel me? And got mad and got into a Raven Justice. You feel me? And that's where the, the little Kafani shit happened. You feel okay, me? Yeah, so yeah. bam. And mess. I guess he fell out with mess. So he went at mess. And they just went at me. So I guess they were just on one. But I bet everybody didn't think my reply was gonna be like that, bro. You feel me? I did a respond back. I was cool with it, bro. I did not want to fuck with that shit, bro. I'm a real rapper. I'm really raw, bro. I don't got a star beef. I ain't got fuck with nobody. I ain't never hated on nobody. So I hate when niggas say that shit. Nigga be hey, I'm too raw. I'm too confident, bro. I think royalty of myself. Bro, I think like a fucking king, bro. Like a fucking real guy, bro. So I ain't no, ain't no hating in me, bro. It's just that niggas get around me and see that confidence and see that, bro. And they can't stand next to it, bro. Like that nigga really think he that. And he can rap and back it up, bro. People don't want to stand next to people like that, bro. Like that nigga really, you know what I'm saying? He's serious, bro. And I am serious, bro. You feel me? Real life, though. So it's like, no, my confidence is, I'm not playing with that, bro. So I always try to tell people, like, that shit was fake, bro. You feel me? You was in your feelings. You still in your feelings. Talking about you tripping for life, bro. You ain't making no type. I don't get it, bro. I thought you was in your bag, bro. So I ain't. All that shit ain't making no sense, bruh. Yeah, on everything, bruh. I ain't trying to discredit the nigga because he seems successful. He seems like he doing his thing. Shout out to the nigga, whatever he doing. But you feel me? Like, to take to me as a man saying you're going to trip him for life on me or saying like you're going to do something to me. What I supposed to do to the world as a fan? Like, what I supposed to do as a man? Like, I supposed to just sit back and be like, oh, this nigga just sit here tripping for life on me? Like, come on, bruh. Like, yeah, right. it ain't that serious, bruh. You feel me? Yeah. That's crazy, bruh. Because shit like that turn into other shit. You feel me? For real. Yeah. I know for a fact it's hella niggas who don't want to fuck with me, bruh, because they fuck with bruh. You feel me? And that's hella boosty. Cause then you must be making it seem like something that ain't, bro. You feel me? And that's hella boosty, bro. Cause at the end of the day, bro, I've been the nigga out here, bro. I've been going crazy for sure in East Oakland on the street level. You know what I'm saying? I never really been like a hell of a pimp rapper or the flashy rapper. I always been the struggle rapper. You feel me? I always been the gangster rapper. Always been that struggle rapper, bro. From the bay for hella long. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I ain't gonna never let somebody try to discredit me or make it seem like that ain't what it was, bro. Cause y'all, everybody politicking now. Everybody choosing sides now. You feel me though? But when it come down to the music, when it come down to the Rap, everybody know <laughs> DB the general, bro. You niggas ain't fucking with that nigga, bro. Everybody know that. I ain't talking about all this other shit they want to keep making it be about, bro. You feel me? Right. Keep on trying to make it like it's about cars and hoes and money and bitches and shit, bro. We all rappers. I thought we all was rappers, bro. Right. So if you're a rapper, bro, you only can stand on your song. You only can stand on your hit song. And niggas know when you put they songs next to my songs, it ain't nothing to talk about, bro. You feel me? That's the problem right there. You feel me? But all that blackballing and shit, all that politicking on this shit, I ain't read about that shit, bro, because I'm still eating. I still give money. So salute to all my fans. You feel me? I ain't even read about that shit, bro. Yeah. But if niggas want to tap in and do a song, anybody can tap in. Man, it's nothing, bro. Anybody can hit my DM. It's good. I work with anybody, bro. But if you choosing sides over some shit that wasn't even real, that's crazy. You feel me? Because everybody really is choosing sides. And I know they taking what I see in the song so serious.
years, you feel me? But I'm raw. It's supposed to sound like that, bruh. It's supposed to be like that, bruh. I got talent, bruh. That's why y'all y'all heard that shit and it was like, that nigga just snapped, bruh. Just like they just heard again on the crown, bruh. But they need to understand I could do that a hundred times, bruh. Like I'm a real artist, bruh. I really study this shit, bruh. I watch URL, bruh. I watch URL TV, bruh. I study rappers, bruh. I study Rock Kim. I study JD Kiss, bruh. I study Beanie Siegel. I study Nas, bruh. I studied all them niggas, bruh. I'm a real lyricist, bruh. I'm a different type of rapper, bruh. I'm not just going in the booth and just getting on the beat and just saying some shit. No, I know what I'm doing, bruh. You feel me? So some other niggas, I know y'all just getting high, y'all going in there rapping, bruh. Not me. You feel me? So like I know what I'm doing, bruh. You feel me? And it's all the way from Rock Kim, the God MC. That's everybody's favorite rapper, bruh. That's Nas favorite rapper. That's Tupac favorite rapper, bruh. That's everybody's favorite rapper, bruh. He made rap serious, supposed to be about the lyrics, bruh. You know what I'm saying? I know the beats and all this, as they call it, the mumble rap today. Yeah, my favorite, yeah. my favorite mumble rapper is Young Thugger. Okay. <laughs> Young Thugger, bruh. Yeah, yeah, he my favorite mumble rapper, bruh. Yeah. My mama, bruh. Cause now you could really, you could really not say nothing today, bruh. And get on, bruh. Make it hit, bruh. That's it's crazy. With your voice and bruh. Shit, you could, bruh. But I care about the lyrics. That's my point, bruh. So that's where all that gas shit came from. <laughs> In DB playlist right now, you feel me? My favorite rapper is Dave East, bruh. Yeah, yeah that's the nigga. Cause he a Gemini, I'm a Gemini. Everybody that's a Gemini is raw, you feel me? So I like all the Gemini artists, bruh. You feel me? I do. You know what I'm saying? If you a Gemini, you gonna be damn near saucy. So Dave East, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, um, uh, what's that uh, one song? Uh, Lil Baby, we were just listening to him in the hard away, nigga. Yeah, that uh, hard away, yeah, I took the hard away, that go crazy. The hard away song, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. And Kodak Black, we be off Kodak Black too in the car. Yeah. We be off Kodak Black, he go crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm waiting for Kevin Gates to drop, he taking hella long and for shit. Yeah, <laughs> the same thing, bro. The other day, I'm like, man, what's up with Gates, man? I'm about to, about to lose a fan, bro. He's yeah, been out for too much, nigga, what's up? Man? I'm waiting for Kevin Gates, bro, because that's yeah. going to be that real music, though, yeah. bro. That's that's gonna be that shit that niggas ain't heard in a long right, time, right. bro. You feel me? Cause all this mumble shit, yeah, this shit bro. niggas could say anything, bro. Exactly. But them the main niggas in my playlist though right now, though. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie though. Man, yeah. really just like clothes. Like I'm gonna I'm fuck with the clothes. I'm gonna go into the clothes for sure. Like I like designing clothes. I like fashion. That's what I'm gonna go into. I ain't gonna really say it's like a hobby, but it's something else I like to do though. So that's where I'm gonna go f into next for sure. I'm gonna be into the clothes. You feel me though? On everything yes, though, man. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna be into the clothes for sure. <laughs> One thing, that's a good one right there. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one, man. One thing that don't nobody know about DB. <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> I don't really be passing the weed like that. <laughs> <laughs> Only for people who really smoke with me would know, bro. Be right with me. To the world, though, to the fans, though, y'all. When If you smoke with DB, I be holding the blunt for hella long. <laughs> oh, man, you feel me? I got this from my nigga Buka, though. You feel me? We used to be smoking. He used to never pass. And nobody wasn't tripping. So I'm like, you know what? When I get that motherfucker, I'm going to start doing the same right, right. shit. And then it just stuck with me, you feel me? But I always smoke by myself. And you smoke a lot by yourself, you hold the blunt a lot, you feel me, though? Yeah. So that is one, like, funny thing that I want the world to know about me, though. Like, that nigga don't pass the weed, bro. <laughs> Calling everything, bruh. Oh, yeah. Right, right. In person, mm -hmm. you feel me? I ain't In person, ain't nobody never disrespect me, bruh. Right. I ain't never been disrespecting in person. Like, oh, bet you did. Ooh, never in my life. Every time somebody see me in person, bruh, niggas wanna take a picture. Niggas be Jews, you a legend, bruh. It's the gas guy, DB General, you the king of Oakland, bruh. I get the most respect in person, you feel me? But on the internet, that's where you see the trolls and shit. Right. Now, I, that's probably everybody, you yeah, feel me? Right. So it's like, I can't. Fall for that, you feel yeah, me though? Right. But in person, in DB face, I wanna say, bro, ain't nobody know, bro. Ain't nobody know. I ain't, I don't get no disrespect in my face, bro. Don't nobody come at me sideways in my face, bro. Yes, that ain't, well, that's what don't happen, bro, or anything. Yes, Next, I ain't gonna lie, it's the king, bro. This oh, volume bro. glide the crown, bro. I ain't about to play with they ass, bro. That's all my mama. I want y'all to be focused on this king of Oakland, heavy lies the crown volume too, bro, because I'm about to rap a different way. And that's why that crown sound like that, you feel me, though? So I want y'all to know that it's gonna be on that type of level. I'm about to rap another type of way as far as that I ain't gonna hold back, you feel me? Because I do hold back a lot, but on this album, I'm not about to hold Hold back, I'ma give y'all this all octane, I'ma give y'all this all, all gas, bro. I ain't about to play with y'all, bro. I ain't bite my tongue on this one, bro. You feel me, though? So if you out there and you looking at this interview and you scared, yo, you probably watching this on your say, like, please don't let them get me. <laughs>
I know they be thinking that about me, bro, because everybody know, bro, it's my mouth is bad. And I want y'all to know that's why I named my label Bad Mouth, because I know my mouth is bad, bro. That's why I named my label Bad Mouth. It's Bad Mouth Guy Gang forever, bro. You feel me, though? My mouth is always going to be Bad Mouth. It's always going to be uncensored. My mouth always going to be Paratovisory, all that rated X, all that shit. You yeah. <laughs> my mouth always going to be like that, bro. Right, right. Like, this is what it is. You feel me? And anybody know my mom and dad, like, that's how I am. You feel me? Like, yeah. My mouth is bad, bruh, period. So it's bad mouth forever, bruh. Yes, period, bruh. So I want everybody to just be ready for this king. I want y'all to focus on this album, bruh, because it's about to change everything. Yeah. You feel me? It's going to change. And I got a documentary coming with it, too. I'm going to shoot a day in the life with it, too, though. So be on the lookout for that, too. And be on the lookout for the clothes, too. Them things I want y'all to really be on the lookout for, for sure. Yeah. All right, I want y'all to follow me on Instagram at dbthegeneral underscore. And my Twitter is dbthegeneral. My YouTube channel, DB the General, you feel me? Go follow me on all that. But really, my Instagram, DB the General underscore, you feel me? Shout out Rap Shack for coming to tap in with me live, man. In East Oakland, California, man. We in Funk Town, USA, right now. You understand me, though? So y'all gotta tap in back with me live when y'all here, you feel me, though? Shout out all my niggas out there, all the fans, all the people out there, you understand? Shout out Rap Shack, you feel me, though? We locked in forever. Brr.